Tere, mene nimi on, Howie Fitzmaurice, and welcome to the Estonian Cricket Weekly. In our T20 games, we had the Stallions defeat the Hippos, uh, 203 to 113. Man of the match with, was Saif Rahman, uh, 133 off 72. Best for the Hippos was probably Tim Heath with 30 off 15. Uh, we had Rising Stars defeat the Vikings, 73 to 72. Man of the match was uh, Shoab, uh, 30 off 18 and 2 for 20. Vikings best, Rana Rashid with 16 off 24. United defeated Tartu Cricket Club. Man of the match was uh, Rajesh uh, with 3 for 16. And for Tartu, probably Aditya Savio with 4 for 23 and 16 runs. We also had the Strikers defeat United, uh, 179. United uh, only managed 87. Habib Khan, man of the match there with 39 of 28 and 1 for 17. Best for United, uh, Sahil with 4 for 28. In our high 40-40 games, we had the Hippos defeat the Tigers. Uh, well, it was a wet day, as we know. Tigers could only manage 93. The Hippos posted a healthy 287 uh, for eight. Man of the match was Tim Cross, back to his best with five for 16. Uh, Bijan Saka was probably the best for the Tigers uh, with none for 23 off eight. It was a pretty tidy spell. Tartu Cricket Club, well, they defeated United in a, well, a Duckworth-Lewis system game again. 112 for four. United uh, 130 uh, all out. Man of the match, Manpreet uh, Singh with 5 for 25 off 8 overs. Best for United was probably Nan Rao with 44. In Tiskra news, uh, week 3 of the watering program, uh, ground 1 and a little of ground 2 getting uh, 200 odd thousand litres of water and over 1.1 tonne of fertiliser. So uh, a big thank you to Simon Cambry doing two night shifts a week uh, to get the job done, and that's not easy with a 12-month-old baby, I can tell you that. So, well done to Simon, thank you. In milestones, a Shish ran up with his 100th uh, wicket, and of course, Murali helped him out by having a couple of weeks off uh, due to work commitments, well done to a Shish. Uh, Nand Rao with his 1,000th run, well done Nand. Uh, Habib Khan, well, Habib with his 2000th run, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing Habib play in Finland, hitting uh, form uh, definitely at the right time. Uh, Saif Rahman, well, Saif, a big 300, incredible. Uh, the first triple centurion in EPL history, and also brought up his 3000th uh, EPL run in the process, so well done to Saif. Stu Hook, hitting form at the right time before the World Cup qualifiers, he got his 4000th run as well, so well done to Stu. Hi all, um, me, Stu, Robo, uh, went to Croatia last week to play in the Mediterranean Cricket League. We had a good time, we won the tournament, and please see the video.
This week's previews brought to you by Sportsbet.io. So in our T20 games this weekend, we have the Riders v the Stallions. I'm picking the Stallions for that game. Look out for Rafak Khan. Uh, I think he had last weekend off, so he'll be looking to get back on the board. Uh, for Riders, uh, Vinod Kanwa, um, playing really good cricket at the moment, uh, so look out for him. Riders versus Stallions. Um, Stallions are probably the form team of the competition at the moment. Now they've got safe back, so it's uh, pretty tough to tip against them in any, any format at the moment. So. Uh, I'd have thought Stallions will, will get up there. United v Hippos. Uh, I'm going to actually tip Hippos. Uh, United got a couple of injured players. Look out for Yash uh, Pad. Uh, made a quick 30 in his high 40-40 game last weekend. For the Hippos, though, look out for Stu Hook. He's looking very dangerous at the moment, so good to see. Uh, United versus Hippos, um, probably the, the grudge match of the year. We've been waiting to play United uh, all year, so um, I think this will come down to whether Anurag is going to be fit. Um, here he's carrying some injuries at the moment, so um, if Anurag's fit, uh, I think United will give uh, the Hippos a run, but uh, Hippos have been super consistent this year and uh, here Dave Robson might be back as well, so he might be the difference, so Hippos. Strikers v the Rising Stars. I'm going to pick the strikers in this game. Uh, look out for Saeed. Uh, playing really good, he got three for three off, uh, was it two overs? For the Rising, Shebin Din, uh, one for 15 uh, off four, so he's going well too. Uh, strikers and uh, Rising Stars, uh, I feel like Strikers, this is their format, 2020. Uh, they should get over the line here. Habib is in, in fantastic form, obviously, so uh, nothing short of a century I'm expecting from him this week. Uh, rising Stars might give them a run, but I expect Strikers to get up. Uh, United v the Vikings. I'm going to pick United in that game. Uh, Nandria, well, he's got a 44 just recently, playing good cricket. For the Vikings, Rupam, uh, playing really well. Look out for him. Uh, United and Vikings, so United backing up again with another double header. Um, I think this will be closer than most expect. Um, United should win, but uh, I think some fatigue is going to be kicking in uh, with the United players uh, after a very heavy uh, workload over the last couple of weeks, but they should get the, uh, the bickies here. In our high 40-40 games, we have the Riders v Stallions. Uh, I'm picking the Stallions in that game. For Riders, look out for Rana, uh, looking to get his 100th wicket in the EPL. For the Stallions, Zeshan Ali, uh, super consistent lately, playing really good cricket. Uh, to the 40 overs, uh, the first game, Riders versus Stallions. Uh, again, I think uh, Stallions are, are pretty hard to tip against at the moment. If Safe's playing, um, you can probably expect uh, another, maybe another couple of hundred runs from him this weekend. Um, regardless of whether he's there or not, they've got uh, a pretty solid roster this year. So uh, Stallions consistency, they should get over the line pretty easily. In our other game, the Strikers uh, versus the Rising Stars, I am tipping the Strikers. Uh, Etisham, well, he's 95 in his last uh, couple of games, so going really well. For the Rising Stars, Partha Carr picking up a lot of wickets lately, so look out for him. Uh, final game for the round, Strikers and Rising Stars. Uh, I think the Strikers should get it done. Uh, again, with the firepower at the top of the order with Arslan and Habib, one of those two guys makes a ton. Um, you'd expect them to get over the line, so Strikers. So this is the last week of uh, domestic uh, cricket here in Estonia before the national team travel to Finland for the ICC sub-regional uh, World Cup qualifiers. 
so join us uh, for more Estonian domestic uh, cricket uh, on Saturday and Sunday from 11.30 Estonian time. Uh, love to see you then. A big thank you to our sponsors, Sportsbet.io, High.com, Bluff VPN, Nordcom Platoon, and HML Project Management for their continued support of cricket in Estonia.